Jesus. Maybe he smashed up the car again. He's gonna get his license taken away if he keeps that up. I'm getting nervous for him, Biff. His eyes are going. No. I've driven with him. He sees just fine. Just doesn't keep his mind on it. I drove into the city with him last week. It stops at a green light, then it turns red and he goes. Maybe he's colorblind. Pop? Why well, he's got the best eye for color in the business, you know that. I'm going to sleep. You're not still sour on Dad. He's alright, I guess. Who are you smoking? You want one? Oh, I can I can never sleep when I when I smell it. It's crazy, you know, Biff. You know us being together in these beds again? You imagine all the conversations that went on between these two beds, huh? Our whole lives. A lot of dreams and plans. Yeah, there's, there's gotta be 500 women who would love to hear the conversations we had in this room. Hey, you remember that, uh, that big Betsy something? What was her name? What the hell was her name? Good Collie? Yeah, that's the one. I got you in there, remember? Yeah, you did. That's my first time, I think. God, she was a pig. <laughs> you taught me everything I know about women, Biff. And don't forget that. Yeah. But you forget how bashful you were. I still am a bit. <laughs> Come on. No, I just control it, you know? And I think... I think I got less bashful. And you became more so. And what happened, Biff? You know, what happened to the old confidence you used to have? What's the matter? Why does Dad always mock me, honey? He doesn't mock you. Everything I say, there's always this twist of mockery in his face. You can't get near him. He just wants you to make good, that's all. You know, I mean to talk to you about Dad. I think something happened to him. He, uh, he talks to himself. Yeah, I notice it too. He's always mumbled, though. Yeah, but not so noticeable. You know, it got so embarrassing, I had to send him down to Florida. You want to know something? I think most of the time he, he's talking to you. What does he say about me? I can't make it out. What does he say about me? I think he just wants you to get settled, you know? Not just be all up in the air. There are one or two other things depressing him, have to be. What do you mean? Never mind. I just don't be so quick to lay it all on me. I think if you just got started, you know? A future for you out there? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Hap. I don't know what the future is. I don't know what I'm supposed to want. What does that mean? For six or seven years after high school, I tried to work myself up. Shipping clerk, salesman, business of one kind or another. And it is a measly manner of existence, let me tell you. Devote your entire life to, to stocks and telephone calls, to selling or buying. To suffer 50 weeks in a year for the sake of a two-week vacation when all you really desire is to be outside with your shirt off in the sun. To always have to get ahead of the next guy. And still, that's how you build a future. 